Yo, what's the deal, y'all? This is Trey, Games Over ENT right here. And um, today we're going to talk about something that Sony unveiled at the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, this year, 2014, on Monday. Yes, yeah, Sony has actually released to the press their new service that they'll be releasing this summer 2014 called PlayStation Now. Now, this service is basically a replacement of the Gaikai uh, cloud streaming service that you may have heard about. But uh, they released some more details about it and we actually have a uh, release date. Well, not a release date, but a release quarter, at least, summer 2014. And uh, they go on to talk about what's what's going to incorporate and stuff like that. You would basically be able to play some of the old uh, PS3 games and that maybe you didn't get a chance to play. You got PlayStation 4 now. You'll be able to stream those across the platform and use them like a Netflix or a Hulu Plus service or something like that where you're streaming your gameplay and all you got to do is log on and then you're good. You can just stream your content over. And, you know, PlayStation 1 hits and stuff like that. And that's probably what I'm interested in about the PlayStation 1 hits because uh, there's a lot of titles out there, especially those old school RPGs, Japanese RPGs. Those my, those used to be my shit on the PlayStation. And uh, they got a lot of those titles out there that I still want to play and still haven't got a chance to play yet. So, yeah, this would be cool. Uh, the games that's going to be available in the service can either be rented or you can have a paid monthly subscription like so much similar to like netflix or hulu plus and uh you pay monthly now i just hope they're smart with the pricing on this the one of the first games coming out is gonna be a ps3 game and uh it's gonna be the last of us which is basically sony's naughty dogs bread and butter right now they're shining light in the sky and that's gonna basically give us a hint on what the most expensive game is gonna look like on this service because they're not going to hold no bars back with the price on that one. I know that for sure. And then um, the subscription, I just hope it's competi competitively priced. Well, I can't really say that. They really, they really don't have no competition in this kind of field there. They're kind of like doing a whole new thing. Pretty innovative. Only thing I can make that similar is maybe like Gamefly. But then you got to wait for your games to come in the mail. And then like a subscription and stuff like that. So I just hope they're smart about the pricing. I mean, you got to get people in the front door before you close it behind them, right? You got to keep people in there before you trap them, right? Nah, nothing like that. And basically, this service is going to be going across more platforms than the PlayStation 4. Because it's going to be on the PlayStation 4, right? But it's supposed to be coming to the Sony Bravia TVs with the uh, internet capabilities and to other things too, like tablets and everything else. So Sony's really expanding their range of this uh, PlayStation Now network, which is, you know, pretty cool. Um, the Sony TVs and stuff like that, I expect to see that a lot more recently than when we see it on tablets and phones and stuff like that. I don't know how they're going to do that because, you know, to stream a game. Now, these old school games, the ones that's like uh, PlayStation 1, maybe even PlayStation 2 games. Yeah, no problem. 700 megabytes max on the PlayStation 1 games um, on the uh, PS... On the PS... Uh, 3s, on the PS2 side things. The maximum, I think, is like... Uh, what's this like four gigabytes or something like that for uh, a dvd a dvd disc but then when you get to PlayStation three games that's when i think we're gonna run into some hiccups dog because my internet personally is not that fast and to stream those games that they have on the ps3 that's gonna be one hell of a feat because uh i'm downloading some games right now on PlayStation plus and these games are like they're they're cheap as hell i mean they're free they're free games the only problem is the, taking the time to download these things. I mean, I gotta download these, go to work, come back, and they still not done. So, yeah, it's crazy amount of space. So, uh, streaming these things, these big, huge games right here, that's gonna drive your internet bill. I mean, it's gonna be, not bill, but I got a limit. Five, 150 gigabytes of capacity that I can use up before at t says, hey man, you owe some more money. And that's really what I'm scared about when they're on this new service, man. Like, how are they gonna do that? And you got some hell of a hearing at the stream that like, HD quality game over too. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they pull that off. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know about this news. It's a uh, pretty exciting news. Um, I think Sony's like he, they're making, they're definitely making the right choice with this, uh, expanding across more platforms than this Sony because like they need to do something because I heard Sony's actually in trouble financially which you know it's not due to the gaming side it's due to the other side of things you know the, the tvs the walkmans the uh the phones they're not selling so hot in the game right now sony tablets is there a sony tablet i don't know <laughs> do they have any tablets but yeah they're not doing so well in the game right now and this move is a it's a good choice for them it's a very good choice 
Now, I know on this channel, I haven't been showing you any PlayStation footage, but you know, that is not my fault, okay? This um, this thing right here, man, the Hall Park HDP VR2 is not the best when it comes to recording PlayStation 3 footage, man, or PS PS4 footage is impossible because you know PS4 got that HDCP protection, so you can't record that if you wanted to, not right now. But this thing, it, it's really hard to record PS3 footage, man. Because I got some PS3 games I want to show y'all. And when it comes time to record, you know, I plug it in, do the component cable thing, and then I come out with shit quality. And I don't allow shit quality videos on this channel. That's just how it's, how it's going to go down here. But I have made steps in place to actually uh, begin recording PlayStation footage, man. I have bought something that I should be getting next week that's going to enable me to give you PS3 and PS4 footage, which I'm pretty excited about. So yeah, check back next week. You'll see some some random uh, some random uh, gameplay of some PS3 games. Just to put that out there, let y'all know I'm in the PlayStation business too. Maybe some retros too, because I love playing the PlayStation retros. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know about that service and hear what y'all thoughts are about it, okay? So 2014 in the summer, that's when it's gonna come to y'all. So yep, stay tuned for that and peace out.